Don't worry about anything. You're gonna be just fine. Doctor said you were really lucky. Oh, I've always been lucky. I think I met you. Don't try to talk, okay? You need to save your strength. I did talking for both of us. There's so much I need to say to you, Rex. So much I need to apologize for. Shh. You don't have to be sorry for anything. No, this is your fault. I promise I'm gonna make it all up to you. And I promise that I'm gonna make my mother pay for what she did to us. She's not gonna get away with this, Rex. I know who's responsible for Rex's condition. You see, Adriana and I were there when Rex was shot by that dreadful man. Why didn't you call my office when Adriana was first kidnapped? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. Oh, I wanted to. But the kidnapper said that he would kill Adriana if I got in touch with the police. So what other choice did I have except to handle it on my own? And where was your motherly concern when uh, you hired that guy to terrorize your daughter? Adriana, how is he? I'm sorry you're going through this. How is he? Thank you. Uh, he's weak, but the doctor said he's stable. He can have visitors, I'm sure. I'd like to see you guys, and I need to finish something up with my mother anyway. Thanks. Oh, Adriana, good. Now you've got to give me the chance to clear up this dreadful misunderstanding. You've just got it all wrong, sweetheart. Don't sweetheart me. All I want to hear from you is a confession. So you've earned your first badge of honor as a PI. Took a bullet and lived to tell about it. Yeah, let's hope it's my first and my last. But you should have called me the minute that you found out that Adriana was kidnapped. But, yeah. But you didn't. And I'm still proud of you, kid. You tracked Adriana down, and you found her. You risked your life to save hers. And you're good. You did all that without even having any backup. Thanks, Bo. You know, we've had our, had our differences uh, in the recent past, but I have a lot of respect for you. I mean, you do. You drive me nuts when you go off half-cocked and you start making these reckless decisions and breaking the rules, but uh, that's because I know you're better than that, Balsam. You know, you are capable of great things. You really think so? Yeah, I know so. You found Adriana. Saved her. I've got so much respect for you. I... I couldn't have asked for more from my own son. Adriana, I have no idea what you expect me to confess to. I haven't done anything. Look me in the eye and say that again. Look me in the eye and swear to me that you didn't hire Bruce Bartlett. I want you to tell me that you didn't have him send me all those messages and attack me and terrorize me mentally and emotionally and then arrange it to make Rex look like he was behind all of it. Darling, tell me you wouldn't do that to your own daughter, Mom. Daughter, you say you love more than anything in the world. I do love you. And tell me the truth. Did you hire that man to break Rex and me up? Did you hire him to tear us apart? Yes, I did. Bo is right, you know. I want a relationship like you two have. And I... I will always be grateful to you both for, for helping me to see that. So, thank you. Mm. 
Listen, will you be okay here for a few minutes if I take off? Yeah, sure. Where are you going? To do something that I should have done a long time ago. Okay. So you admit it? You did it all. Please, darling. Please. Just let me explain. Can't wait to hear this. How are you possibly going to justify what you did to me? Oh, darling, I swear to you. I didn't plan it. You see, I, I, I was at the palace bar about three months ago. And, and, uh, this man who was sitting next to me, um, struck up a conversation. You mean Bruce? I didn't know him at the time, but yes, it turned out to be Bruce. Go on. As I say, we, we started talking and... All right. I told him about how I didn't approve of my daughter's taste in boyfriends and... Oh, gosh. I, I don't know how it, it actually got started. I think it was really pretty much of a joke, you know? I just... Well, I started fantasizing about ways that <clears throat> I could get you, uh, you know, away from Rex, and then it just <sighs> snowballed, and uh, Bruce offered to help turn my fantasy into a reality. <sighs> and you just had to take him up on it, didn't you? You just had to scare me out of my wits for months. Honey, please, you've got to believe me. Y you were never in any real danger. Oh, no, I would never allow that. I would never let anybody harm you. Never in real danger? I can't believe you have the nerve to say that to me. Well, it's true. I, I, I swear to you. I swear. It's just that things <laughs> got out of control. I lost control of the situation and I am deeply sorry for that but honey everything that I did I did for you Adriana has wrecked so turned your mind around that, that you won't even allow me to explain Rex did nothing it's over mom I will never believe anything you say to me for the rest of my life you're selfish, and you're a liar. Honey, please. I've had enough of you. I'm going in to be with Rex. No, please, darling, don't go. I have nothing I want to say to you. But I ever. Don't you understand? Everything I did is because I love you. I don't need your kind of love, mother. You may not understand now, but someday. That's it, okay? I have heard enough. Adriana. Everything that I have ever done, I have done because I love you. Like when you were a little baby and I gave you a way to be raised in Puerto Rico. I did that. I made that ultimate sacrifice because I wanted you to be safe. And you were happy there, weren't you? Because I didn't know you existed. I had no idea my mother was absent. Well... I made that decision because it was the right thing to do for you. A lot of people wouldn't have agreed with it, but you know something? It was my decision to make. I wanted you to be safe, and I didn't want you to grow up to be one of that Santi women. And this situation is the same thing. I think you deserve a better future than Rex could possibly give you, and I did not ever want to see you hurt. But I was hurt by you. Adriana, Balsam's asking for you. Thanks, Bo. Um, before I go in, I, I need you to do something for me. Sure, good idea. Arrest that woman. Confess to me that she's the one who hired that man to stalk me. Adriana! The man who abducted me and shot Rex. She was behind all of it. That is ridiculous. Your word is good enough for me. Dorian Lord, 
You're under arrest. 